Hi, I'm Eric with Goshen Scout Reservation, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about what to bring down to camp. Maybe this is your first time coming down as a camper, and you are wondering what you need to pack, what you need to bring with you. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what to expect from your week here at Goshen Scout Reservation. So I'm here with Damien from Camp Marriott. Damien has been a staff member here at Camp Marriott for five years, and you've also come here as a camper, is that right? How many years did you come here as a camper for? Five years. Five years, so a lot of experience. We're gonna be talking through the equipment that you should bring here when you come. So to start out with, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about just your bedding, your sleeping arrangement. So when you get to camp, what is actually in a tent? What do we as the camp provide to campers? So it's just gonna be a standard size canvas tent, and then we're gonna provide you with two cots in each tent. All right, so it'll be up to the camper to bring down with them gear to sleep in. So there's a lot of different types of bedding you can bring. Uh, we've got a couple of examples here with us to show you. Damien, what do you normally see as the type of bedding that people will bring down? Definitely sleeping bags. That's the number one thing I see most around here. Just if you are out looking for one, just make sure you get one that can go down to around 40 degrees because we have some really cold nights here on the lake. I think that's a really good point. We think about camp as, uh, you know, bright, hot days, type of days where you gotta wear sunscreen, uh, but it can be pretty cold here at night, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So sleeping pads and pillows are another thing we get a lot of questions about. So sleeping pads are definitely a optional item. You don't need to bring one, but they can definitely make your stay here a lot more comfortable. So we do generally recommend that you bring one. Uh, how about pillows? Uh, so I know that some people bring pillows, some won't. Even one option is just to bring some uh, clothes, put them in a stuff sack, put that under your head. But Damien, what do you think about pillows? I personally would recommend them, but just do keep in mind, you'll probably get them dirty, so don't bring your nice pillows. And another question that we get a lot is about mosquito netting. Uh, so Damien, I know that you've been down here a lot of summers. Do you bring mosquito netting when you stay down here? Uh, personally, I don't. So mosquito netting is something like this. It's a thin mesh that you can hang up over your sleeping bag. Uh, and that'll keep the mosquitoes out. It's definitely something that's not required and probably the majority of people don't bring. So if you know that you're not a fan of bugs, that is something you could consider. There's also some newer options that are out there that are almost like a pop-up tent that go right over your cot and they zip all the way up. Uh, so that's something you can go and check out. We'll have a link in the description below. Another thing we got a lot of questions about is what clothing to bring to camp and how much of it. Uh, so Damien, about how many pairs of clothes do you, would you normally recommend that somebody bring for a week down here at camp? Um, definitely at least five. Um, if you can, I would suggest one for at least every day that you're here. And let's just start from the bottom to the top and talk through clothing to bring. So uh, shoes, boots, what do you normally recommend that people bring here to camp? Um, normally I see boots and I personally wear boots but it's a personal preference. Some people may bring sneakers, but I personally like boots because there's a lot of rocks around camp. And the other thing I do want to touch on is that wear closed-toed shoes, please. Going up to socks, you can never bring too many. So we really, really like wool socks down here. It can get really humid during the summer, so it'll take cotton socks a really long time to dry out, and they will be really uncomfortable when they are wet. Wool socks will stay more comfortable for longer, even if they get a little bit damp. Moving up, um, definitely shorts are a big go-to for most people. I would say four to five pairs is a good amount. Again, you can never bring enough. But one thing I do want to touch on, if you're doing any aquatics, you do want to bring swim trunks. Especially if you're doing polar bear swim, you don't want to miss out on that. But another thing is pants. A lot of people don't think about that, but we do have some really cold nights here, right? Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Again, like we were talking about with bedding, it can get cold here at night and in the morning. So make sure that in addition to those shorts and t-shirts, make sure they also bring some long pants and long sleeves as well. Another benefit of that is that if you are somebody who is prone to sunburn, we're always gonna recommend that everybody bring sunscreen, but having some long shirts and long pants can also help provide a little bit of added protection as well. Another thing to make sure is on your packing list is rain gear. It's a beautiful day behind me here and we hope that the weather cooperates, but chances are it will not. Uh, you will have at least a few days of uh, some storms. So make sure that you bring some good rain gear with you. One last thing to make sure you bring is your class A. You're gonna need it for the ride down and for all of our flag ceremonies. So I think the last thing we wanna make sure is on our list of things to talk about is things to keep yourself occupied when you're around camp. Uh, so what do you think about people bringing cell phones and other electronics down to camp? 
We definitely don't recommend them, but we understand that sometimes um, cell phones are needed for multiple purposes. I would just make sure you check in with your troop before doing so. Yeah, it's really easy for those to get lost and damaged down here at camp. Uh, there's rocks, there's wet weather. Uh, so we generally recommend against bringing down any kind of electronics. But again, check with your troop. Each troop will have a slightly different policy around that. Um, so in terms of just staying entertained, having something to do, uh, what do you recommend as things that people can do to stay occupied? Definitely a deck of cards. You can have a lot of different games with that or even small card games that you can pack away easy. And even up to board games if you'd like. Another thing we recommend is bringing down a book. Um, you know, we generally recommend you bring down your scout book at least so that you can have that to get some requirements signed off while you're around your site, but also some books that you can have just for reading for fun when you're, you have a little bit of downtime. A last thing to note that can be uh, a real quality of life item that you can bring, and just to note, these are absolutely not required for you to bring, but it's something that can make your stay a little bit more comfortable here, is camping chairs and hammocks. Uh, so camping chairs and hammocks can really be a game changer in terms of just staying comfortable around the campsite. Uh, we see a lot of people set up a little hammock area in their patrol site, so that's definitely something you might want to consider bringing. Thanks for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you down here at Goshen Scout Reservation. We hope you learned something. If you think of any other great ideas for things to bring down to camp, make sure you throw a comment below and we'll also put some links to some of our favorite items in the video description. And until next time, have a great day.